Hey guys, it's Elena. So today it's April in the UK where I am. It's very, very rainy and sad and gray. And so today I'm just dreaming of going to the beach. And so I thought I would take this opportunity to paint a digital acrylic pour beach themed artwork. To make this artwork, I will be using my acrylic pour brush set for Procreate. And I will of course be using the Procreate app on my iPad. And so I just wanted to take you guys along with me while I make this and we'll see what we can come up with. So let's go ahead and get started. I was messing around with the concept and this is what I came up with to begin with. So I want to do something a little bit like this. I'm going to open a new canvas and procreate by going to the plus symbol up here and I wanted to do 10 by 8 inches at 300 dpi. I will be using my acrylic pour brush set. If you are interested in this brush set, I have a purchase link for that in the description, or you can experiment with any other brushes that you have, or if you have my alcohol link, you could also try this concept with that. Um, I'm just gonna take you along with my process using the acrylic pour brush set. I'll be using just a couple of colors from this color palette here, and it also comes with the acrylic pour brush set. It's called Fluid Acrylic Green and Peach. So I'm just going to be using a about three colors from this. So I'll just go ahead and give you the hex codes now. I wanted to be using mostly this color for the water and that's 044081. And I will be using a pink for the sand. And that one is F1A092. And then I'll be using kind of an off-white EAE. 5e7 and I will also just be using pure white. I may use some other colors as well but those are the main colors I'm going to be using. So first of all I'm just going to choose this blue and in the acrylic pour brush set there are some different fluid pour options here at the top and the one that I wanted to go with to begin with is called fluid pour number two and I'm not going to be using the dual color tilt function I'm just going to go ahead and go with this blue. I wanted to have the water kind of coming up from this side and then the beach is over here. So I'm just going to fill this corner with this brush and just holding it straight up. I'm pushing when it gets bigger, I'm pushing more and then I'm like letting up. You can see that we've already got a bit of color variation in this brush built in as well. So I'm just going to continue lifting the brush and then adding a few more because this has got kind of a nice wave pattern to it, this brush. Continuing on, adding little bits here and there. And I just wanted to have a variation of color. And actually, now that I've got this in here, I feel like it's taking up a bit too much space. So I'm just gonna go up to my arrow up here and I'm going to move that up just a bit and resize that a bit. Okay, and I think that's fine for now. And what we're gonna do as well on the same layer is we're then going to go to this pink color that we just talked about, and we're still using the same brush, fluid pour number two. And then down here at the bottom, I'm gonna make another line of the pink, and I'm just gonna leave a little space in between these two colors so that we can add that sea foam. So again, just kind of adding that there, adding a bit more in the gaps. Just trying to get a bit of texture there. Now we've got those two colors. I'm going to my off-white color and I will just take that up through the middle. So that gives us this nice kind of sea foam look and I'm gonna do it a couple times just to get it a bit more solid. So this is my basic color structure here, but I did want to have some of this sea foam kind of going up into both the sandy area here or the water. So what I'm going to do now is switch brushes and I'm just gonna go down to swipe with cells number nine. And this is a blend only brush. All of these swipe with cells brushes are blend only, which means that if they are in a layer by themselves, nothing happens. They're only blending. So I'm just gonna delete that again. And so you can see, we are actually blending now because we're in the same layer, but that's not what we want. So I'm going to I'm going to just keep this kind of small and then just kind of work with dragging some of this up in a wispy way. So I'm starting on the white and then dragging the white upward to make kind of a wave. And I'm just going to take it in the other direction as well. And I'm just kind of fading it out a bit here in the middle.
So I'm just going to do the same thing, but not quite as big. What I'm imagining here is that we're going to have some action happening around here, and we're going to add some spray as well, and just kind of keep it so that it's not just uniform stripes of color. We're going to have more of an action happening down here. So I'm just going to add a little bit more in this area, and I'm just going to kind of follow how this color goes, just kind of working with what's there. So what I really like about this process is that we can use the fluid pour brushes, these here at the top, to start out with, like what we've done, and then we can use the blending brushes to make it into something special. So I'm just kind of adding movement with these brushes here. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take the spray and kind of make that into something that drags out here as well. Some of it is just really subtle because it's all the same color, but I'm just kind of enjoying the meditative process. This one looks like it's dragging out already, so I'm just going to drag it out further. So now I'm just scanning to see if there's anything else I want to use this brush on. Anything that looks like it could use a bit of blending or movement. I really like how that's dragging out, kind of looking like an octopus or some kind of crazy sea creature. <laughs> There's just something so relaxing for me with blending colors like this. I just really enjoy this process, even if it ends up looking a bit strange in the end. I just, I'm just trying to enjoy the process rather than trying to be attached to the outcome looking a certain way. And that really is how it is in real life as well. When you're using acrylic pour, there's only so much that you can control. And a lot of it is just happy accidents and beyond your control, at least for someone like me, who's not really an expert. Now at this point, we're going to switch up our brushes again. And instead of using the brush tool, which is here, we are going to switch over to the smudge tool. And it looks like a little finger. It took me actually a little while to figure out that that was a finger. So it's like you're smudging instead of painting. And what that means is that whenever you use brushes, you can use all the same brushes under this tool, but they are all blend brushes. So they're not adding any new color. They're just blending and smearing and smudging what's on there. So with my acrylic pour brush set, I really enjoy using the cell brushes with smudge because that means that you can use dynamically all the different colors on your screen already and you can just drag from that color in order to make cells in that color. So I wanted to go with dynamic cells number three and with this one I'm going to add some cells because we have a lot of movement going on here and we have a lot of cells from the brushes that we've used already but I wanted to have some nice big cells as well. So if you take it from the blue and then pull it over, it's going to put blue cells in that area. Whereas you take the white, it's going to put white cells. So it takes whatever color the tip of your pencil starts on. And I actually like that, so I'm gonna keep that. And I wanted to make this looking like sea spray. So I'm just gonna experiment with the cells and see what can happen. Okay, so I'm happy with how this is evolving. I'm liking all of the cells and I want to add some different looking cells now that is a bit more like sea spray. So I'm going back to the smudge tool. So now I'm gonna go down to the blowtorch brush, which is just really tiny cells. And still in the smudge, I'm going to take mostly the, from the white, I'm going to take that outward to create some sea spray. So these are just really small uniform cells. Just adding a bit more texture here. So I'm kind of keeping it to where I've already got a lot of cells and just kind of making that more dense with some different kinds of texture. I'm really enjoying that texture there. It feels very oceany and it's definitely cheering me up on this rainy day.
I'm trying to be strategic about where I use this so it doesn't get altogether super messy. I really love with this brush how sometimes it just gets these really interesting rings around it and it's it's kind of accidental because it depends on how much pressure you're using. See there I didn't use a lot of pressure and when you use a lot of pressure then you get these rings. So it's a really versatile brush. That is getting very textury and I really love how that's looking, but I'm going to back off now in that area, maybe add a bit more here. And it's all very subtle, not super obvious until you zoom in on it, but that's just the kind of detail that I just really love. Love that too. Dragging some white out over here because it was looking a bit too boring. Kind of wanted to make this look like it was just splashing up. I guess we could maybe use a rock or something here. I did have a rock tutorial recently, but I wanted this to get too complicated. So I'm just going to leave it without the rocks for now. So I wanted to experiment with adding pure white in the same brush. So for that, I'm going to switch back to my brush tool and then I'm going to my disc under the colors and I'm just going to double tap, oops, right by the white until you see that this comes up. And if you're not sure if you've got pure white, if it's just a bunch of Fs, then you have got pure white. So now I'm switching brush now that I've got my pure white color back to the blowtorch. So you can see that when you're under smudge, you're selecting brushes, but then you switch back to the brush tool and you don't necessarily have the same brush that you've been using over there. So you'll have to go and find that again. I know that causes a lot of confusion sometimes. So with that white, I'm just gonna experiment very carefully. I don't wanna overdo it, but I want wanted to have some very white spray coming out of here as well because this was all kind of an off-white before. So I'm just experimenting with that so that we can have a bit more definition on some of the sea spray. So this at this point I'm not worrying about where I'm coming from because I'm on the brush tool so it's always coming out in white now. And that even because it was off white down here, it's even showing up on top of that white. I think that is borderline getting a bit too dotty and speckly. So I'm really going to keep it very minimal. Just a tiny bit here and there in these areas that I've been working on. So I think that I'm okay, happy with this now. I'm just going to show you a little bit more in detail here the different areas that we've been working on. And I just really love this soul dragging effect here with the cells all around. It's definitely giving me a beachy vibe. So I'm just showing what we've been working on here. And some more options would of course be to add some rocks here and i think that would be a good next step on this piece if we're not going to leave it like this but i won't do that in this video but that would be kind of a fun addition or would have been fun also to add some rocks at the beginning and maybe then do the spray around them that's probably a whole different piece but some more options would be to add more colors more cells and just continue experimenting with wherever your intuition is taking you but anyway i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and I hope that this helped to inspire you to make something beach themed of your own. And if you would like to see more of this kind of video, please do consider subscribing. And thank you so much and I will see you next time.